What's going on YouTube? GeoSnoid here. Today with some bad news for those of you who like to sideload on your device. Now do you remember that a few weeks ago we had some issues with many sideloading services like Flexstore and so on with Apple having a few ban waves or revoke waves for the installed applications with developer certificates. The Flexstore account has detailed in here the problem at that time and after that they were working on getting it back online but what they found out is that when a developer account is revoked Apple flags the devices link to that account too and now we know why that happens and how Apple does it and it turns out it's nothing new actually it's just that Apple started enforcing it more but the system put in place for this dates back to 2021 and this one is called PPQ so check this one out it says in here that new Apple developer program memberships created after June 6 2021 require development and ad hoc signed applications for iOS iPadOS tvOS to check in with the PPQ service when the application is first launched. So what this means is that every application that you sideload with tools like Sideloadly over here or with Altstore or Flexstore or any other such service with developer certificates will actually try to phone home to PPQ service available over at ppq.apple.com the first time you open said application that you've just sideloaded. And what happens when you do that? They collect a lot of information like the bundle identifier of the application so they know what app you're trying to install. If it's for example, com.meta.facebook, for example, they know that you're trying to install the Facebook application and they collect all this information. And that's why we've seen the new revoke waves because now they enforce this and they can see that people are abusing the developer certificates that are intended for iOS development in order to sideload applications. So according to Flexstore, they also set a flag tied to that device, which does not disappear when you register under a new account. So if say you got your Flexstore certificate, it got revoked, you got a new one from them and you install your applications, the flag set by Apple for your device still persists, which means that it will take a longer time for your account to be approved in Apple developer program and for new certificates and so on. And they can also revoke those certificates faster because your device is now flagged. So it rings a bell in there that something's wrong with this device. You may want to check that certificate for what it's being used. So if you're having a lot of problems lately with signing services, including your own certificates, PPQ is very likely the reason because PPQ also applies to your own developer certificate. It's not only for enterprises, it's also for the $100 per year developer account that you get from Apple. They also check those with PPQ so you can get your own account flagged as well, including your device. So that's what's currently going on. While things seem to be working at the moment, we should expect to see more and more of these waves as Apple is collecting the information and of course as they started to now enforce PPQ. That's essentially Thank you for watching. Don't forget to check out Rayboot, a software that allows you to easily upgrade and downgrade iOS to signed iOS versions, enter an exit recovery mode and fix over 150 plus iOS issues. Check the program out in the link below. Thank you for watching. I am GS Now. Peace out.